We've been looking at the idea of passing a supine God with that preferred underhook grip. Now let's get the idea of passing a seated God with our preferred underhook grip. As we approach a seated opponent, our thing is to get our foot inside their feet. That's not always easy when his feet are close together. So very often from here, there'll be some jousting. As we move in front of a training partner, we start to separate the feet. That's when we step in. Once we get that step from here, we put two hands on our training partner's shoulders. So that when he tries to sit forward and come towards us, it's tough. We're making his feet light. Then we punch one of our elbows back to our own hip, just like so. And as a result, we're able to drive through and get to that classic underhook position. From here, my second hand comes out as a base of support. So when he tries to move us around, it's very, very difficult. Alternatively, we can move our head down and use that as a base of support. We play between these two grips. We're either going far side out here, posting with the hand, or we're going near side head and the hand out like so. They're both great options. We've seen them both. From this position, as he goes to move us around, it's going to be awfully, awfully difficult. The only thing here is a purchase on is one of our feet. So the only thing between you and victory now is that right foot of yours. So we're going to use our foot, kick out, get a control of our training partner's elbow, and then settle down into a good pair. So once again, we have a seated opponent in front of us. First things first, we need some space to step into. If his feet are already separated, skip that step and just step in. If they're not, then we have to do something about this. So we start motion in front of our training partner. It creates a situation where our foot can penetrate. Now immediately, we go in with two hands at the shoulders. That's what makes it easy to pull our arm back. And as we punch underneath our training partner, we just drive that knee through to take our favorite position. We can either go here with our head or here with our head. We use our hands to widen our base. So when our training partner tries to move us around, it's very, very difficult. From here, it's an easy thing for us to start that action of kicking out and going straight on to lift, drive, and pin. So this is a very simple and practical way to apply your knee cuts, not only on a supine opponent, but also on a seated opponent.